possibly dead es la mejor video en la mundial hoy in Guatemala. Look at this beautiful view. It's an absolutely amazing hotel we're staying at. We didn't even know when we booked this. This is an actual wedding venue. So super exciting. We started our day off with sleeping in, going for breakfast, going for a swim in this amazing pool. Now we're meeting up with a few of our friends and moving into a different place where a whole bunch of us are staying for the week. Um, so super exciting to see a bunch of friends and explore Guatemala. Guatemala has the best Ubers. Look at that baby. Okay. Hello. Chito. Uh, we're headed to the cocktail party before the wedding. The wedding is tomorrow. It's really exciting. I am sweating. <laughs> We're probably the last guests to survive. We totally are. No, no, Jess and Mark. Oh, Jess oh and that's true. That's fine. Oh, that's true. That's fine. <laughs> Erupting volcano right there. That's crazy. Look at everyone taking pictures. That's crazy. Today's the day. We're going for breakfast now. Potentially, maybe a little swim after. I don't know. And then we got ready for the big day. The wedding day. Guys, it's so this beautiful. Very colonial, very rustic. Look at this. Jewish Italian wedding. In I mean, how much crazier can you get? Jewish Italian wedding in Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala trip and Walter looks at me and he goes did you put our suitcases in I'm like no nope, I didn't and he didn't either so now we're back at the hotel we were the only ones who left their suitcases at the hotel and now we're restarting the trip but fortunately we realized within yeah early on thank god look at that we just got off the boat and the group split in two for some village tour and a cliff jump and you know which group I'm in. That's funny. Aww. Many servicios and YouTube included. I love it. It's four o'clock in the morning. We are going for a sunrise hike. Obviously, the boat is called Shalom. Wow! And so it would begin The best definition And so it seems It's been so long So if you've been watching my Instagram 
Instagram stories, you must have noticed that I ruined my drone by flying it at the wedding venue where we were at. I wanted to retake a shot that was so beautiful. My drone flew into a tree, so that wasn't very nice. I thought it was like completely done. The scariest part is that the stabilizer for the camera, I'll show you in a second, was also cracked, so that means that the camera is never going to be stable. But never say never, um, two nights ago, while Walter was sleeping, I spent basically half the night trying to fix it in the bathroom with a bathroom light and tweezers. Now it looks super ghetto, but it works. So all of this, the bottom of it was cracked entirely. I mean, you cannot see. This was cracked, so I fixed it with tape, but also there is these tiny little cords that communicate um, between the camera and the drone here and on the other side and those were all ripped apart so with a pair of tweezers I managed to put them all back together I'm sure my engineer dad would be proud and now it's flying we are, we are. lake that you see there, Lake Atitlan. The lake is supposedly 300 meters deep and uh, recently one of the divers discovered an ancient city within the lake which is absolutely blowing my mind but it's definitely a place to visit. Um, so we would take a boat from in and around there to the other side to bunch of villages that were conquered by the Spaniards and in all of the villages they're famous for their uh, textures and the fabrics uh, knitting and uh, weaving and the whole process is really interesting <laughs> We just learned how they make their traditional fabrics and the process of weaving and coloring and the most amazing part is the fact that the plants produce different shades and one plant can produce all three of these for example but it all depends on the pressure from the moon what color you're going to end up getting and you don't know until you actually start making the color so beyond incredible. It takes about a month to make each one of these. We found this tiny place for lunch. This is our setup, yeah. and that's the view. Yeah. And we even got a fan. Chichi Castanango. We're spending tonight going to the dinner and just chilling and tomorrow they have an infamous market here so we're gonna visit that. Look at these colorful Oh no, that's not houses. That's a cemetery. Oops. So we came here at 6 in the morning as they were setting up the market and all the stalls were opening and all the vendors were coming in with their stuff. Uh, and now we're back and the market is open. So we're gonna first check out the church and walk around. I'm not planning on taking anything away with me. I think all the style here is quite colorful and quite beautiful, but I just don't think it fits with our London flat. If we had a summer house for sure. But it's still like I'm very quite inspired by the colors and the textures, so it gives me a lot of ideas of what I could do with that. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Too many uh, carne malinas. <laughs> Mucha carne. Mucho carne. Un poquito vegetables. He's got a triple chin now. Uh, How hot is it down there? I can't really breathe, but. That's <laughs> ridiculous. I'm not sure why we're here. La evolución del tiempo, la época maya se. Here we go. Ella nació un día importante que se llama No. Mucha inteligencia. I, I was born on a special Mayan calendar day. No. But guess what my... And, it, um, and then it composite and it makes it actually a music video. That's pretty cool. It is! <laughs> That's Were you not there, Sully? You didn't hear? There. No, but it says no that it's hard to hurt me because the spirit that protects the snake basically protects me, so the people that would want to hurt me won't. <laughs> my childhood right here. Only in gray. This is like a fancy version of Tetris. We're starting our five and a half hour volcano hike. Excited? The state of Snickers? Anyone? Here we go. There's 14 of us on this hike and six security guards. Seven. Seven security Seven. guards. We just got an extra one. Yeah, Guatemala doesn't joke like that. Just in case. There's all seven of them, just in case. That's it. That's the end goal. All of this was lava at some point. Holy shit. This is very American, right? American. Everyone's uh, burning marshmallows and clearly because it has gelatin, I don't eat it, but here we go. Look at this American dream. Sally, how do you feel right now? I feel like I'm in New York right now. Last sprint to the volcano. Not so much a sprint, but last, what, 200 meters? 200 meters of climbing straight up. Yeah, baby, we can do this. saved my life. No lava today, but nevertheless, one of the most adventurous thing, things, uh, one of the most adventurous things I've done in 2017. Yeah. Hands are so the only swollen, they know feet the are keys. swollen. Are they this, this is like basically the Eastern European style look. <laughs> Zero energy at this point. Guys, we're so excited about this place. How excited are you right now? Is it delicious? Very good. Is it worth getting the fries? It was. Yeah. Very, very good. good. Look at that, Eastern European style. Eating our Subway. Your uh, evaluation of uh, El Pollo Campero? Yo tengo mucho uh, comida y burrito está mi estomaco y uh, es perfecto. <laughs> This is our last night in Antigua and uh, Luchi had a genius idea of going for oh, hair. Yeah. So yeah. We're, getting, we're getting a treatment, Diana and I are getting a trim and we're all getting a blow dry it and it's pretty. like the fraction of the London cost. So I'm <laughs> extra excited. We're so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 